the really, really good news today is all the updates we're getting from the National Weather Service and NOAA is good news in terms of uh, looking at what we think the impacts are going to be. Uh, good news is one, the storm here is tracking to the north. If you look at the Hawaiian Islands here, you can see that the track is now very much more northerly and we have this cone of uncertainty um, that now looks like even on the extreme edge, it's going to dodge the Hawaiian Islands, which is very good news for all of us. Um, that means we're not at this point planning to open up any emergency shelters. We were looking at shelter space and we are going to be making announcements today if the storm had tracked more to the south. We don't plan to do it at the current time. It doesn't mean though that you know we're in the clear. Um, it means that we still need to be vigilant. People need to tune in to your stations and to your weather reports and to radio and the Star Advertiser to be prepared just in case. But we wanted to let people know that perhaps they don't need the same level of vigilance they would have had to have had if the storm would have been more to the south. We still have conditions that are going to impact us and we want to talk about that a little bit. For example, we're expecting winds to be somewhere between 10 and 20 miles Thursday morning um, with gusts up to 30 miles, so it's below storm, f storm force, but still stronger winds than usual. We're looking at surf to be at 6 to 10 feet, and that surf is starting to build and we need to be very careful. And rain somewhere between 1 to 4 inches and higher elevations at 5 inches. So. We do need the rain. It's good we're going to have this rain, but again, we have to be careful about potential flooding. The reason why I say we don't want to say, okay, we can just cruise now for the rest of the hurricane season. We're not even halfway through the hurricane season, and we've seen a very vigorous uh, past month or so. And we have another depression forming here. If you look on this side, you'll see up here where the X is, there's another depression that is forming, and if it continues, on its current path and, and course, it's going to probably be growing into a tropical storm. If it forms in the eastern part of the Pacific before it gets in Hawaiian waters, its name will become Hilda. If it forms in the Hawaiian waters, its name will have a Hawaiian name, Kilo. And we're going to be paying very close attention. But again, the reason why I bring this up, it's a reminder to all of us that we're not halfway through the hurricane season and we have another potential storm forming. We've, I think, been lucky to see Guillermo go to the north. We'll have to see what happens with this depression, but we need to be prepared. So just like we always say, plan for the worst and hope for the best. We all individually need to plan to shelter in place where we, where, where we can, to seek shelter when we're instructed to do so, to have enough water, batteries, food, and those things, and to make sure we help our neighbors. That's the most important thing that we can all do. Hi, my name is Peter Hira. I'm the Deputy Director for Department of Emergency Management. What I want to do is highlight two things. First of all, Nixel. Nixel is the official city and county's text and email notification system. Just as simple as going to your cell phone and texting your zip code to the number 888-777. So just open up your cell phone, 888-777, text your zip code to that number, and you're automatically signed up for Nixel. Alternatively, you can go to www.nixle.com and you can sign up for Nixle there and you will get our official warnings, advisories, and watches, any kind of storm-related activity, tsunamis, uh, serious traffic accidents. The city does use that site extensively to provide advance notification to anyone. Second thing I want to cover is our Ready Hawaii app. Our Ready Hawaii app was just released several weeks ago. We're really excited about it. You can download it from either the, the Apple Store or you can go to the Google Play, uh, Google Play Store and you can download it free of charge. And we ask everybody to download this app to be better prepared for disasters. So in the preparation, in the readiness phase, you download our Ready Hawaii app. And if worse comes to worse, you don't get notified. At least you have the Nixle and you'll get notified of the latest watches advisories to Nixle. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Really appreciate all your coverage today. And I thought it was, you know, it's really helpful to the public. They would not get this information, but for what you do, and I want to thank you for your thorough and complete coverage. Thanks.